This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Baker versus Johnson. You all have been dating for three years. You're living together. And Mr. Baker, you have opened this case with some very serious allegations. Tell us why you're here. Your Honor, I'm here to uh, see if she has actually slept with my son. And Your other, son? My oldest son, Sam, and other men. I love her. I'm, I'm in love with her. I just need this so we can move forward. That is a serious allegation. Miss Johnson, I why are you here? To prove that I haven't, mm -hmm. because it has taken three years of back and forth that he has not got the point that I've never cheated on him and wouldn't do that, especially not with his son. Mm -hmm. I love this man and I want to spend the rest of my life with him. Miss Johnson, I, I gotta tell you, this is so egregious. How are you feeling about living under this? thunderstorm cloud. And that's exactly what it is, because almost every day it's a new accusation. And I've not dealt with it well. Not at all. Tell but like I said, you, I, I tell love him. Tell what you're dealing with. Every, my, my whole lifestyle has to change. Like, from the point of everything I do, I have to look at how he would perceive it. And, and you've asked how, is, how she's dealing with right. it. Right. How is he dealing with it? Oh, to I, I want to know. To think that your girlfriend is sleeping with your son, I can't even imagine how that feels inside. It, it actually hurts because we were really, really close. And he used to live with me. So you've but... got two relationships that are at stake here. Your relationship with your son and your relationship with Ms. Johnson. Yes. All of that yes, is on the line right now. Yes. How did you two meet? <laughs> we actually met at a country concert. A and a uh, okay. lady beside her was talking to her and the lady kept saying, He's looking at you, he's looking at you. And I was looking out the window. She just happened to be right in view uh, with a... Now, Mr. Are Baker, you sure you weren't looking, looking at her? At her? Were you looking I, at I was. I was. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've watched her since the moment she walked in the door. See, it's kind of that sloppy thing where you kind of look, but you don't want to her to know you're looking, but you're looking, looking. <laughs> yeah, but she knew he was looking. I, yeah. Did you know he was looking at you? Oh, yeah, and I was looking at him, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, so women know, we okay. know. Even though yeah. you think you're trying to be slick, we know. <laughs> So you're looking at her, you see her, and what's going through your mind when you first see her? Uh, I would like to get to know her. Uh, we exchanged numbers. Mm. She called it to make sure I was giving her the right number. Ah! <laughs> I took his phone. I took his phone from him and put my number in there. Okay. I was and the aggressor she, on that one. She okay. wanted to make sure she had the right number. Uh, about two weeks later, I called her up, met her, and uh, we've pretty much been together ever since. What were you attracted to? Uh, she's beautiful. Uh, her personality, I mean, she's funny. She keeps me laughing. Um, she always wants to touch me, which I've never been used to, which, <laughs> which is wonderful. And uh, I mean, she's, she's a great person. Her son's great. And I love him to death. I, I mean, I, I want to be around him for the rest of my life. And this really determines whether we can move forward. Well, what did you see in him? Because I, I noticed from the court papers there is a six-year age difference. He gave me no choice but to fall in love with him. He was such a gentleman. Anything, he, he said everything perfect. I was at his house. He would beg me to spend the night. And then it wasn't a night. It was a week. And then I had to have surgery. And he completely took over, basically moved me in that week when I had a surgery to take care of me. It's wow. everything. He, he is a wonderful man. He really is. Okay, so my question is this. We go from making sure numbers are right so you can be in contact to you accusing your girlfriend of sleeping with your son. How do we get to that point? I was out on the porch smoking one day. Okay. And they were in the living room, which is right outside. And I, I walked back in and her skirt was up and they were sitting there watching TV and I'm like, I walked in and I stopped and I said, what are you doing? To who? To, no. to Nicole. No, that, okay. that's not how that happened. So All you're right, outside on, taking the soap, you come back in and they're sitting on she the She has a long dress sofa that together. down to her ankles and I walk in and it's up around her hip and I'm like, what are you doing? No, so this no, is not... No. So Mr. Baker, this is not like a short skirt that maybe came up a couple of no, inches. No, sir. It's, a it, was a blue, it was a blue dress. I remember exactly what it was. And, then, and when you walked in, what, the scene that you saw made you say, hey, what's going on here? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Johnson? Thank you. Okay, this is nothing like it happened. And, and he remembers so well. It's not, I don't even have a blue long skirt like that. Okay, so he was, it was about 100 degrees outside. Our air conditioner would freeze out. 
So okay. it would it would be hot as can be. He was at work and coming home. It, the love seat and the couch were kind of like an L shape. I was sitting here, his son was sitting there, okay? My skirt is peach. It's like an orange and floral, and it comes down to my ankles, it does. I was sitting on the couch and I had it up to my knees. I don't show my body off. So I had it up to my knees. That's it. Up to my knees, because it was so hot. It's Mr. Just... Baker, you said you walked in. Did you ever ask your son directly, did you sleep with Miss Johnson? Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. And he told me no. What was his reaction to you asking him that question? Usually... <sighs> it's okay. He usually wouldn't look at me if he was guilty, and he usually don't... He usually looks away. If, if I want to know the truth of something, he'll look straight dead at me and tell me I didn't do it. But he wouldn't look straight at me. He said no, but he wouldn't look directly at me. Because he was too and hurt. And so, based on your life experience with your son, you believe that he, even though he was saying no, his demeanor said yes. Yes, Your Honor. This has got to be destroying you and him, your relationship together. Yes, Your Honor, it is. I, I, I love him to death. I'll do anything for him. And I, it determines a lot. Fathers know when their sons are lying. True. Especially when you have a relationship with the son. You can, you can look at it. You know what they do. Yeah. You know how they act. And you could look at your son and you could tell because you knew him that he was not telling you the truth. Yes, Your Honor. But you know what, Color? I, I, I got to say, I understand that. But we've got three boys. And if we asked them anything like that, I think they would be so uncomfortable that that conversation was taken. But I don't think they could look at you. I think they would be just like, oh, my God. But, I... as, but as a father, I know the difference mm -hmm. between uncomfortability and I'm caught. And that's what Mr. Baker is saying he saw. Well, there's the father's side, there's the girlfriend's side, and there's the son's side. And we have him here testifying today. <laughs> Joining us from his hometown is Samuel Joseph Baker. How are you, Mr. Baker? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Your father is here and Miss Nicole Johnson are here. What is your relationship to Miss Johnson? Uh, it's my dad's girlfriend. Um, I met her early on in the relationship. I actually moved in a month after they were together. And what was your relationship like with your dad before Miss Johnson? I could tell him anything. I was my best friend, and he always knew how to listen. So you all had a close, warm relationship? Yes, ma'am. And you could tell him anything that you needed to tell him? Yes. Your father is here, and he's in tears in the courtroom, which makes me want to ask, what is the status? What is your life with your father like now, after these accusations? Far from where we used to be. Have you had much contact with him? Over the years, not really. Your relationship has been destroyed because he thinks you're cheating with his girlfriend. That is correct. Mr. Baker, tell your father what this has done to you. It makes me kind of feel alone. I used to have a good best friend that I could talk to no matter what, but I don't have that anymore. Tell me about the first time that he accused you of cheating with her. I was hurt. I mean, who asked their son if you slept with their girlfriend? Tell your son why you made these allegations. I, I just remember all the conversations of how we would talk, sit down and talk about the sex you've had or any conversation that we wanted to talk about, we could talk about. And some of the things that you would say, and you would feel like you're on top of the world, and it just seemed like that day that when I walked in, something had happened. And you believe that something had been with Miss Johnson? Because I was there. Have you ever slept with Miss Johnson? No, never. I'm sorry, but I don't really find her attractive. Mm. I'm okay with that. Look, I know this has not been easy for you, and just watching 
you suffer and watching him suffer has made her Because I hate up. that they're... I hate that that happened to the relationship. And because it was because of me in a way, but it wasn't. I hate that they've let this... He let that happen. That's his son. And I'm his girlfriend, but his son comes first and should come first always. And... And I just hate that, that this has come between them and that I've played a part somehow in it. But what's it doing to your relationship? What kind of strain is that putting on your relationship? Really big one every day. Mr. Baker? I mean, I, I honestly feel like it continues. Past that point after he moved out, I think she honestly moved on to other men. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually have evidence, Your Honor. Okay, let's see. Would you step to the monitor? Your Honor, we were moving back together. I was supposed to pick her up around 7, 7.30 mm -hmm. that morning. I was early, I was sitting out on my truck and she texted me and asked me, could we move it to 8.30? I just wanted to sleep more. And uh, I said, too late. I'm already here. And the next thing I know, as I'm getting out of my truck, I notice a man's hand open the blind in her bedroom window and look out. And then mm -hmm. a couple minutes later, I hear footsteps in the backyard. I mean, there's... You so you hear, hear somebody walking in there, the back. You can hear any footstep or anything in the backyard. It's okay. It's flat full of leaves. Okay. You can step back to your podium, sir. Thank you. Now, can I say what really happened? <laughs> oh, oh. Well, I, I want to be okay. clear. You believe that a man was in the bedroom with your girlfriend and you could hear him walking away. Your Honor, her fingers are not that big. She has tiny fingertips. All right, Ms. Johnson, did you have a man in your bedroom? No. Okay, so I had all our stuff packed. So when he said he was already there, I pulled down, I see that it's him. Your Honor, I was halfway to me, at the driveway. To me, that makes... I'm happy because he's here. And then the whole thing where he's saying he heard somebody... My parents feed the neighborhood cats. There has so to be 30 cats. Been cats back 30 home. cats at any given time in that backyard. Uh, okay, Ms. Johnson. That's where they Ms. live. Ms. Johnson, look, look. I think we've heard enough evidence. Thank you. What we have is a serious allegation. Mr. Baker believes that Ms. Johnson is sleeping with his son. And Mr. Baker believes that there was a man in her bedroom when he came to pick her up. He saw the man pull the blinds down mm -hmm. and heard him leaving out of the back of the house, walking on the leaves. And all of this has led him to believe that she's cheating with his son and with other people. And if he finds out that she's cheating, this relationship with her and with his son it's going to be over. over. Mm -hmm. And as a result of this, this court has done a complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call licensed polygraph examiner Tommy Platt to determine, is she cheating? <laughs> you conducted a polygraph examination of Ms. Johnson, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Could you share for the court record your credentials? I have been a licensed polygraph examiner for over 10 years and conducted nearly 3,000 polygraph examinations. Well, we need your expertise today. Yes, ma'am. You asked Ms. Johnson, did you sneak another man out of the house the day Mr. Baker picked you up from your parents' house for breakfast? What was her response? She stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful. <laughs> Ms. Johnson, I see a, somewhat of a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. This is probably the most serious question we're gonna ask today. Mm -hmm. Ms. Johnson was asked, have you ever had sexual intercourse with your boyfriend, Mr. Baker's son, Samuel Joseph Baker? What was her response to that question? She stated no. What did the polygraph determine? The polygraph determined that she was being truthful. Mr. Baker, your son is with us again. Is there anything that you want to say to him? Son, 
I am sorry that I accused you, and I hope we can get back to being best friends. Yes, sir. I love you, son. I love you, too. <laughs> Mr. Baker, this is your chance to say what you want to say to your girlfriend. I am terribly sorry. Go ahead. All you all fights. need to touch. <laughs> Mr. Baker, you got you a young, beautiful, vibrant girlfriend. Let her be her and enjoy that. That's not a bad thing. She clearly loves you. You love her. You all want to work this relationship out together and move forward. I can tell just by the way you all interact with each other. I would say to you, she's tired. <laughs> don't, don't continue this pattern because after a woman gets tired, she gets up and goes and she won't come back. I would also encourage you to work to rebuild the relationship with your son. You all are taking the first step, but it's gonna require some work also. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a happy, healthy relationship. Court is adjourned.